let's talk about some solutions. How about allowing free market conditions take control? The last time I looked, we are a country of freedom, a country that lives on capitalism, not a country of socialism nor communism. Yeah. Why do you go to Walmart? You go there because you can get a mink stove that costs you a huge amount of money or because you can get a good price with the quality that you need. That's what we need in health care. Let's remove the state and the federal mandates what insurance companies must cover. Think and take the example of cable TV. I would like to watch four channels. I'd like to watch the news, I'd like to watch the weather, I'd like to watch the sports, and I'd like to watch the oldies but goodies. But I have to buy 20, 30, or 60, or 100 channels to get cable TV. In healthcare, all I need to cover is my blood pressure and my asthma. I don't need to cover pregnancy, birth control pills, uh, horrible deliveries. I don't need to cover a whole bunch of things, but the government says that's the only package I can buy. How about equalizing the tax laws? You get the tax credit when you buy insurance. You get the tax credit when your employer buys insurance and you pay your premiums, not your employer. How about health care savings? How many people have health care savings plan? Anyone else know what it is? It's a tax deductible, tax free, interest earning account. If you start off putting as little as $50 into your savings account when you're in your 20s or 30s, you'll have $100,000 to $150,000 worth of tax-free interest-earning compound interest rolling for you. With a high deductible, low premium, you're set. For people who right now are in the retirement age and people who are like me, the government must meet its present responsibilities then get out of it. May I make an interesting suggestion? How about the government cleaning up its present mess of Medicare and Social Security? Yeah. 46 trillion. 100 trillion. Finally, there are people who are sticking their necks out. I'd like to really commend John Mackey of Whole Foods. They're self-insured. Things that us as individuals should be able to get together collectively without governmental control and form our own cooperatives and buy our insurance with economy of scale. Well, Whole Foods does it. Their first $1,000 they have for each employee is gratis. If you don't use it all that year, it rolls over into an interest-bearing account. The second 2500 you pay. They have stores over in England in that socialized country and they said, what do you want us to do in terms of your health care since it's already paid for by the state? They said, we want the same coverage you're giving people in the United States so we can go out and buy good health care. The natural history and closing of the world is tyrantry. It's oppressive power, not permitted by law or required by justice. It's deputism, absolute, unlimited power. Right now, and Anthony's figures are a little closer than this than these. There are over 850,000 Canadians, 1.8 million Englanders. Brits awaiting hospitalization. These are figures out of Investors Business Daily, June, July, 2009. In America, 
we are free people. Each generation has to fight the fight that George Washington talked about. Because we are a unique people. We were unique people when the Mayflower Compact was formed. In 1776, when we fought the Brits, and we didn't fight them to overthrow them, we fought them to re-establish the order of law. The same fight we're trying to do now with our Constitution. I say that we don't need a health care reform. We don't need to reshape it. We don't need to throw it under the bridge. We need to improve it. <clears throat> Finally, freedom is not free. There's a price we all have to pay. Please learn the legislative proposals. Question your representatives and your executive officers and get in their face. Yeah. They're getting in our pockets. We have the right. Write them and hold them responsible. And hold them responsible with a long memory. and vote. Please vote. No matter how disappointed we are, vote. In closing, that's right, vote while you can vote. In closing, the miracle of this country's strength lies in its liberty, in its freedom, in its innovation, and the power of the individual, not the government. Right. Wake up, America.